New at five, Johnson City Development Authority officials said it could take five years to build new housing for 150 John Sevier Center residents and find a developer to renovate the former hotel. That five years is up, but so is the frame of the building that will welcome elderly and disabled residents to new apartments in late 2025. The $31 million construction project well underway and a consultant is studying how best to market the hotel to prospective developers. News Channel 11's Jeff Keeling got the latest from JCDA's director and spoke to residents who are looking forward to the change. I'm ecstatic. I love the. I, I can't wait. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Jeff Ramsey and Brenda Allen don't turn their noses up at their current downtown digs, but they won't just move a mile and a half south late next year. They'll jump forward a full century in the brand new tapestry at Roan Hill. There is a significant change in what the quality of life will be. And you know, the John Sevier is a 100 year old brick building. It's an old building, you know, you're going to have your problems, you know, your water pressures, you know, you know, the lights, the fire alarms and stuff like that, they're going off. But, you know, coming in here will be 110% better. Each apartment will have its own washer and dryer and a full bedroom. A change Alan is looking forward to. I live in just a one room and it's really small and I have a dog and it's real small for us so I'm actually getting my own bedroom, you know. I'm really looking forward to the bedroom more than anything. Shared amenities will be much improved as will stepping outside. And there's going to be like a little gym here, uh, outside court in the middle, all grassed area where, you know, you can sit out there. And I like it. I like it a lot. It's, uh, it's going to be well worth it. Oldham said that was a major goal when JCDA undertook such a challenging endeavor. It gives them a new opportunity to have more elbow room, more space, and improved living condition overall. And yes, it's really coming out of the ground. Something Oldham said almost seems surreal to residents she speaks to. The fact that it's a reality has been somewhat difficult to absorb, I believe. It's been long time coming. All the years you've been hearing about them, putting it in, putting it in, putting it in. I didn't think it was going to happen, but hey, I was wrong. I'm glad. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. In Johnson City, Jeff Keeling, News Channel 11.